Rome is a city where faith is rooted in its very fiber, and history resounds through every cobblestone. However, this isn't just another exploration of historic ruin sites. We are about to set out on a journey unlike any other, as Easter brings life to the Eternal City. Congratulations on being invited to an exclusive tour of the top 10 Eastertime destinations in Rome. Hold on though, because there's more in store for you in the following few minutes than just a countdown. Stay put, and allow me to introduce you to a previously undiscovered aspect of this city. You won't want to miss a second of this adventure, I promise. Number 10. Vatican Museums We start our adventure at the Vatican Museums, a historical and artistic treasure trove that is even more magical during the Easter season. Entering the Holy Corridors, you are met not only by works of art, but also by the physical energy of a city steeped in centuries-old customs. The Vatican Museums come alive during Easter with unique displays and activities that highlight the combination of creative genius and worship of God. A sense of excitement fills the air as tourists from all around the world assemble to take in the glory that defines this holy location. Let's now discuss the Sistine Chapel, the jewel in the crown. Its famous windows let in rays of sunlight, bringing the master's timeless masterpieces to life. The intricate detail of the Last Judgment and the breathtaking creation of Adam inspire strong feelings, creating a strong bond between spirituality and art. During this holy time of year, the Vatican Museums not only house artifacts from the past, but also actively participate in the celebration of Easter. Hence, the Vatican Museums during Easter offer a fascinating journey that bounces long after you've left these sacred halls. No matter whether you're a collector of art or a tourist looking to discover the true spirit of a city. Number 9. St. Peter's Basilica We are now approaching the amazing St. Peter's Basilica, a symbol of spirituality and a masterwork of architecture. St. Peter's Basilica becomes the center of the Catholic world as Easter graces the Eternal City bringing travelers and guests into its holy embrace. The artwork and architectural design of St. Peter's Basilica's interior are respectful. The beautiful details of Michelangelo's Pieta, the majesty of Bernini's Baldachin, and the heavenly atmosphere of the nave all combine to create a sensory journey that goes beyond what can be seen and speaks to the spirit. Climbing the dome steps for a panoramic vista of Vatican City and beyond. The city comes alive with colorful ceremonies around Easter, which enhances the depth of the city's cultural offerings. As the sun sets and this architectural masterpiece shines in a golden glow, observe the play of light on the marble facade. Number 8. The Pantheon The Pantheon, a living example of the strong spirit of ancient Rome, is our next destination on this Easter tour. Entering through its imposing bronze doors, you find yourself in a time warp that spans two millennia. Originally intended to be a temple dedicated to all of the Roman gods, the Pantheon is now a unique example of a combination of faith, history, and architecture. A beam of light that appears to link the sky and the earth is cast by the oculus above as you enter the Pantheon. Built in 126 AD, this architectural wonder has withstood the test of time, seeing the changes in Rome and playing an important part in the development of Christianity. The Pantheon, a living example of the resilience of faith, serves as a link between the old and the new as Easter approaches. A unique historical fabric, created by the combination of Christian customs and pagan roots, makes a visit to the Pantheon during this holy season a necessity. Number 7. Trevi Fountain our Easter adventure takes us to the majestic Trevi Fountain, where timeless mythology and the magnificence of Baroque art unite. This architectural amazement, which was finished in 1762, is a representation of confidence and renewal during the Easter season, as well as a monument to creative genius. The Trevi Fountain assumes particular significance around Easter. Its surroundings take on a sense of renewal and rebirth that reflects the spirit of the season. A layer of meaning is added by the large statues of legendary characters, which link the fountain to the rich fabric of Roman mythology and history. There is a dynamic mood surrounding the Trevi Fountain as people gather to participate in this age-old tradition from all over the world. Rome's attractive streets and outdoor gathering places surround the area, making it the ideal place for relaxing walks and to take in the cultural scene around Easter. Number 6. Spanish Steps the famous Spanish Steps, a magnificent structure that invites you to rise into the center of Roman culture, are the destination of our Easter journey. Constructed during the 18th century, 
These huge steps represent more than simply a physical journey. They are a window into history and customs that come and go. The Spanish steps are decked with a spectacular display of bright pink azaleas in May. The steps are transformed into a floral masterpiece as part of this yearly ritual, which gives the setting a romantic and elegant touch. The joyful atmosphere mixes with the fragrance of flowers to create a memorable sensory experience. Take a minute to breathe in the ambiance as you descend, where the city's modern pulse blends with the sounds of the past. With its classic charm and festive decorations, the Spanish steps encapsulate Rome's Easter celebration, which goes beyond the actual steps and becomes a stairway to the city's spirit. Number five, Roman Forum. We visit the interesting Roman Forum remains as part of our Easter exploration of Rome, a site where history is experienced rather than just studied. Explore the historical depth of this historic monument, where old stone and decaying pillars bring the past to life. Think about the Roman Forum's long-lasting impact as you stand among the ruins of old temples and columns. It is more than just a group of ruins. Rather, it is evidence of the durability of a civilization that has had an eternal impact on the globe. Easter in the Roman Forum is a trip across the years when the past and present meet together in a dance of cultural continuity, transcending the temporal. For many years, the busy center of ancient Rome was the Roman Forum, which is situated between the Capitoline and Palatine Hills. This archeological find becomes a different kind of pilgrimage as Easter approaches near. Every step becomes a link to the ageless customs that have formed Rome for ages, and the air is heavy with the echoes of past times. Now, here's a little task for you before we discover the next Easter hidden gem in Rome. Why not give love to someone you're enjoying the journey through the eternal city with? To remain up to speed on our most recent experiences, hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to ring the notification bell. Now for the exciting part, tell us about your favorite Easter custom or the location you can't wait to see in the comments section below. Number four, Castel Sant'Angelo, Castel. Sant'Angelo invites you to visit its museum as Easter approaches, where each piece whispers a story about the growth of the city throughout the ages. The fortress, sometimes referred to as the Mausoleum of Hadrian, is a silent reminder of Rome's constant change and resiliency. Artifacts from many centuries can be found throughout Castel Sant'Angelo's hallways, providing a window into all aspects of Rome's history. The story of the city is incorporated into the history of the castle, which began as a tomb and now serves as a fortification. Additionally, Castel Sant'Angelo has made a lasting impression on popular culture. This is especially true in the film Angels and Demons. Your Easter experience is made much more intriguing by the movie element. Imagine the scenarios that played out on screen as you explore the castle and get completely lost in the relationship between fiction and reality. So take a tour through Castel Sant'Angelo's halls, let the museum serve as your tour guide through history, and let the Easter experience be enhanced by the cinematic echoes. History and creativity combine at this fortress-turned-museum to create a one-of-a-kind story that is revealed between the old stones of this famous Roman structure. Number 3. Piazza Navona Now, we arrive at Piazza Navona, the center of celebration and magnificence, on our Easter tour. Once a Roman stadium, this ancient plaza has been transformed into an exciting hub of activity that comes alive at Easter. Piazza Navona, surrounded by graceful architecture and adorned with outstanding fountains, welcomes you to join in on the joyful festivities. There are many things to do around the square if you take a nice tour around it. Sidewalk cafes are the ideal place to enjoy a cappuccino and take in the lively scene. Handmade stores attract you with classic Easter cost, such as beautifully decorated eggs and handcrafted chocolates, letting you enjoy the season's sweet side. So enjoy the treats of Piazza Navona during the Easter celebrations. Savor delectable delights, listen to the fountain sing you, and take in the colorful atmosphere that defines this famous Roman center. With its ageless charm, Piazza Navona invites you to join in on the centuries-old Easter celebrations that resound through its cobblestone streets. Number 2. Galleria Borghese The gorgeous Galleria Borghese, a 17th century treasure intended for festivity and artistic entanglement, is the next stop on our Easter excursion. You enter a paradise for art lovers and a sanctuary where the echoes of creativity and history interact when you enter this architectural wonder rather than merely a gallery. Galleria Borghese becomes a haven of culture around Easter, 
The rich thread that winds through its holes is revealed layer by layer with every stride, and the air is charged with the distinct energy of artistic brilliance. The exhibition is more than just an art gallery. It's a trip through time and a visual symphony that perfectly conveys the essence of the season. Easter turns into a period for reflection and admiration of Galleria Borghese's cultural riches. You are welcome to investigate not just the artwork, but also the backstories of each piece in the thoughtfully assembled collection. You experience a sense of timelessness as you move through the gallery, where the past and present come together in a creative dance. Number one, Colosseum. The famous Colosseum, a magnificent reminder of Rome's enduring grandeur, is where our Easter adventure comes to an end. Built in the year 80 AD, this impressive amphitheater is more than just a representation of the city's outstanding architectural design. It is a living reminder of its rich cultural heritage. You are taken back in time to a time when gladiators engaged in violent fights and the Colosseum was filled with the booming applause of onlookers. The Colosseum serves as more than simply a tourist destination during Easter. It transforms into a moving background for a variety of events that all serve to highlight the tenacity and eternal spirit of the Eternal City. Emotion is created by the Colosseum's elliptical shape and soaring arches that last for centuries. It was the greatest amphitheater in the Roman Empire when it was built. A remarkable feat of engineering started by Emperor Vespasian and finished by his son Titus. Up to 50,000 people could fit within the stadium to see gladiatorial matches, open executions, and other events. I hope you have experienced the magic of Rome as we put an end to our Easter tour of the city. Also remember to subscribe, like, and comment below if you enjoyed the journey. Rome has a never-ending story, which I can't wait to share with you. Till then, arrivederci and good travels.